He then went on to say at one point it was more acceptable to be gay than it was to like comic books. And I was like, no, like, you got killed for being gay. You just kind of got made fun of for liking comic books. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. My name is Joe, and you are watching really, really early late nights with Joe Malou. Yo, I love this live audience. Thank you so much for coming. Woo! So today I was at a comic book store to feed my addiction of buying brand new Funko Pops. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I usually post about an unboxing of a Funko Pop two to three times a week. I have over a hundred Funko Pops. It's okay though. I went to the store and I was like, ah, they don't really have that many new things that I actually like. It was just a bunch of like Marvel movies and characters that I don't really care for. So I'm not going to go and spend my money on them. Plus they were too expensive. So I'm like, how else could I spend the money I don't really have but I want to spend? Hmm, so I started buying comic books. Comic books are making a comeback in the world. Like, literally two years ago, I would have laughed at myself for getting a comic book. I don't think there's anything wrong with reading comic books, but just like, the whole notion of collecting comic books and that whole thing, like, I want to become a collector. I collect Funko Pops. I collect all of these things that I used to really not like. So I asked a shop owner, I'm like, why do you think comic books are making a comeback? And he looked at me very deeply, he said, you know what, that's a really tough question. I'm like, well, I went to school for that, so I had hoped to God it was a tough question. And he responded, well, you know what? Oof. It was probably the Big Bang Theory. For about five or six years, Big Bang Theory ruled the world, and like, nerds were on top of the world. And I looked at him and I said, yeah, no, no, totally. Totally makes sense. But in my head, I was like, Big Bang Theory is probably the worst TV show that ever exists. He then went on to say at one point it was more acceptable to be gay than it was to like comic books. And I was like, no, like, you got killed for being gay. You just kind of got made fun of for liking comic books. Eh. So I went to dig and I was like, why is it that we like comic books so much in 2021 when really our generation, my generation, the 22 year olds of the world, you know, the 18 to 24 it's they didn't really grow up with comic books we grew up with really good comic book movies that whole next evolution of comic books were just the movies i honestly think it's because of the whole vintage vibe like i get it collecting has been there for ages trading cards comic books literally anything people trade everything they save everything and they make it pristine so it's not a new concept to like comic books and to get into comic books for the money and all of that stuff but why in 2021? It's because with the whole vintage boom in the world, all we want to do is get the next thing that's going to make us money. Like, I was talking to the shop owner today and he said, hey, if you want the entire Spider-Man collection from the last 20 years, not the entire collection, just from the last 20 years, I can probably get it to you for two to $3,000. That's, I'm like, 50 comic books for like $3,000? That's, no. I bought this for $2 and it was released in 1993. You know what? I'm going to open this one. My first comic book I've ever bought. I'm going to open it for you. I bought it for $3, $2.99, but will it be worth something one day? Oh, the colors are nice. So in conclusion, why is it that comic books are making a comeback? It's because all the people like me who act as if they never liked comic books, they never liked superheroes, are finally able to admit that superheroes are like the coolest thing in the world. Like I'm 22 and like Iron Man is my hero and he's a fictional character. I'm not six, I'm 22 and he's my hero. So it's like, I'm not scared to say it anymore. I'm not scared to admit that superheroes are everything to me. And in turn, comic books, that whole culture is going to become everything for me. If you guys liked today's video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Joe with Really Really Early Late Night with Joe Maloof, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow at 6 p.m. Peace!